How's it going? It's Jamie Crafty DIY Guy and I'm back. I have got some DIY projects for you today that I'm super excited about because all of these are upcycles. If you remember my video from a couple weeks ago, I did some Goodwill shopping and I had a Goodwill haul video and I got like about eight things I think and I've upcycled four of them into brand new projects for you guys that I'm really, really excited about. They definitely have a fall vibe to them, which I think is super cool. And also what's super cool about them is that they're very transitional. So they could really go for any any season, honestly. Um, it's just a matter of kind of how you, how you tweak them, how you decorate them. Also, if you are one of my OGs, of course I wanna say thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. An OG is just an old gang, an old friend, an old buddy, old gangster. It means a lot of different things. To me, it means old friends, and I appreciate you guys being here so, so much. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you'll stick around and you'll become an OG as well. And if YouTube suggested you and this is the first time you're watching me, hi. And uh, I'm glad that you're here. I don't normally dress like this. I'm actually getting ready to go live on a talk show that I do that features some of our crafting legends that are here on YouTube. I do it every other Friday, and there will even be some dates coming up in September and October where it'll be back to back because it's getting very, very popular, which is a good thing. So be sure to RSVP at the crafty DIY guy at gmail.com if you want to find out more about that. And I'll also include a playlist at the end of this video from some of the previous videos. Anyway, here's this video. Check out these upcycles, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys around. All right, bye. My first Goodwill before and after is going to be this gold candle plate that I picked up when I was out shopping. It was $1.99 at my local Goodwill store and I really loved it, but I did want to tone it down just a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of orange paint and I'm just going to dry brush this. I'm using a perfectly dry brush and I'm just spreading that orange paint out all the way around to the edges of that gold plate. And you can see I really, really spread it because you can barely see any of the orange and that's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going in with my antiquing wax and I'm just going to kind of highlight those edges and get those corner pieces and those points all covered in that antiquing wax and I'm just gonna continue to buff it all around. I will switch this out to a dry paper towel and keep kind of buffing it and rubbing it in and spreading it around like you're seeing now. And then eventually it's going to give me this gorgeous rust color that I love so, so much. I think this is absolutely perfect. And then it's time to start decorating. I'm adding some Dollar Tree floral pieces as well as some wood pieces that Candle is actually a old candle that I've had forever from Pier 1 and uh, I love it. It smells really, really good and it goes perfectly with my fall color scheme that I'm doing here in this candle plate. And when it's all done, this is what it looks like on my coffee table. I absolutely love this. I think it screams fall and it's the perfect color combination to my living room. This next before and after were these little wicker baskets I picked up. They were 99 cents each at the Goodwill store and I thought that they were perfect. Kudos to my mom for finding them. And then I also had these wood pieces that were from Dollar Tree's Crafter Square and I thought I could make the perfect sconces with these. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my wood pieces and I'm just going to cover them with two coats of my chalk paint from Folk Art. I believe this color is called Sheepskin and I love the way this goes on. After everything dried, I marked where I wanted my baskets to hang from with a pencil, and then I'm just drilling two small holes on either side of that pencil line so I can feed this wire through. You can use really any color wire, it's not going to show up. And I just snipped off a piece, fed it through the two holes, and then wired the basket to the wood backing, kind of like so. I added cork knobs to the bottom to make sure that the baskets hung straight. And then it's time to fill your baskets. I filled this up with some Buffalo Check fabric and then added some Dollar Tree sunflowers to it. Another option could be a candle, although I highly recommend that you use a battery operated pillar candle instead. Or you can add a mason jar or a small glass filled with water and fresh flowers. And this is what they look like hanging on the wall. I absolutely love the way these look. It's the perfect little farmhouse addition to my guest room. 
I loved this little rocking horse as soon as I saw it. It was $2.99, but I thought I could definitely make it into something different. So the first thing I did was remove its mane. Yes, I scalped it. And then I also removed its tail and ears and any other pieces that were just kind of hanging off of it until I had a very sad looking rocking horse kind of like this. I gave this little guy two coats of white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and made sure that he was nice and clean and fresh for his makeover that was to come. I created a tail using some Dollar Tree rope that I just pulled apart into individual little strands. I added a piece of tape and put it right back where it belonged. And then for the mane, I took a solid piece of Dollar Tree's nautical rope and just added a generous amount of hot glue right to the top of his head and down his back. And then just took that rope and glued it directly on top. Now, as you can see, I did leave a little longer piece in the front and that is so I can kind of fray that out and also separate those pieces and give him a little bit of a faux hawk. Then took some of this buffalo check ribbon that I had from Dollar Tree. I simply just pinched it together and then inserted it in the hole where his previous ears were and created ears that looked like this. Look at this happy little guy. I forgot to film this part, but I just decorated him up with some flowers and some floral foam. And this is what he looks like when he's all done. And for my final DIY, I'm going to be using this candelabra that I got that was $6.99. Keep these suitcases in my fireplace during the summertime. So now that fall is almost here, it is almost fireplace season. So we are going to decorate the fireplace and get it ready for pre-fall. I'm going to use this one suitcase in the bottom of the fireplace and then I'm going to add that candelabra right there on top. I'm going to take some Dollar Tree garland and just start wrapping it around the candelabra. I'm calling it a candelabra. I don't know what it is. We'll call it candlesticks, candelabra, that candle thing. And then I'm going to take some of my floral sprays that I also picked up from Dollar Tree. These come in a variety of colors and a variety of shapes. There are some that have little pumpkins on them, some that have squash on them, some that have acorns, some that are just leaves, some that are berries. And I grabbed a collection of all of them. And then I also grabbed a couple extra pieces of the garland. So literally, as you can see, I'm just kind of wrapping it around and just making it look like that this candelabra is just kind of nestled in the middle of a pile of leaves. And then I'm gonna take some of those floral sprays and I'm gonna spread them out. And then I'm gonna stick them kind of underneath and then around some of the metal parts of the candelabra again, just making it look like that these leaves and twigs and vines are just literally growing all around that candelabra. And then the same here, putting it on the sides, just making sure it's nice and full looking and grabbing as much of those gorgeous fall colors as I can in there. I added three of these velvet pumpkins from Dollar Tree, six of these pillar candles. I didn't have any traditional taper candles, so I'm going to use these battery operated ones instead. I still love the way this looks. I think this is extraordinary. I love all of those colors. It is the perfect silhouette inside the fireplace, and it really makes me think about cooler weather and fall temperatures that are soon to come. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank